Minority Leader Chuck Schumer has arrived to react to the firing of FBI evening, Director everyone. James Comey late today by Donald Trump. Earlier this afternoon, President Trump called me and informed me he was firing Director Comey. I told the President, Mr. President, with all due respect, you are making a big mistake. The first question the administration has to answer is why now? If the administration had objections to the way Director Comey handled the Clinton investigation, they had those objections the minute the President got into office. But they didn't fire him then. Why did it happen today? We know the House is investigating Russian interference in our elections that benefited the Trump campaign. We know the Senate is investigating. We know the FBI has been looking into whether the Trump campaign colluded with the Russians, a very serious offense. Were these investigations getting too close to home for the President? It is troubling that Attorney General Sessions, who had recused himself from the Russian investigation, played a role in firing the man leading it. So what happens now? Deputy Attorney General Rosenstein sat in the Judiciary Committee and promised to appoint a special prosecutor at the appropriate time. That time is right now. The American people's trust in our criminal justice system is in Rosenstein's hands. Mr. Rosenstein, America depends on you to restore faith in our criminal justice system, which is going to be badly shattered after the administration's actions today. This is part of a deeply troubling pattern from the Trump administration. They fired Sally Yates. They fired Preet Bharara. And now they fired Director Comey, the very man leading the investigation. This does not seem to be a coincidence. This investigation must be run as far away as possible from this White House and as far away as possible from anyone that President Trump has appointed. Given the way the President fired Director Comey, any person who he appoints to lead the Russia investigation will be concerned that he or she will meet the same fate as Director Comey if they run afoul of the administration. The American people need to have faith that an investigation as serious as this one is being conducted impartially without a shred of bias. The only way the American people can have faith in this investigation is it is, it, is for it to be led by a fearless, independent special prosecutor. If Deputy Attorney General Rosenstein does not appoint an independent special prosecutor, every American will rightly suspect that the decision to fire Director Comey was part of a cover-up. I'll take one or two questions. Are you suggesting that this was a part of a cover-up, and did you convey to President Trump that he should appoint, that a special prosecutor should be appointed, and what was his reaction to your response? I simply said to him, Mr. President, in all due respect, you're making a very big mistake, and he didn't really answer. And I have said from the get-go that I think a special prosecutor is the way to go, but now, with what's happened, it is the only way to go, only way to go, to restore the American people's faith. Are people going to suspect cover-up? Absolutely. If an independent special prosecutor is appointed, there still can be some faith that we can get to the bottom of this. If not, everyone will suspect cover-up. But are you suggesting yes. cover-up? Senator Schumer, you told me last year before the election that you had lost confidence in Jim Comey because of how he handled the email scheme. Uh, do you think that the president's explanation that this is the reason why he's firing him now 
has credibility with you? Do you believe that? Okay. Or do you think that he's firing him for another reason? I never, I never called on uh, the president to fire Director Comey. I had a lot of questions about how he handled himself. But the overwhelming question is this. If the administration had those same questions, the events occurred months ago, and they should have fired Comey on the day they came into office. All of them occurred before he came into office. So that does not seem to me to be a very logical or persuasive explanation. Thank you, everybody. I think when I put it in the new batteries, it didn't I think they did. Because uh, so they're going to take the rest of the new So you saw a minority leader in the Senate, Charles Schumer, from New York, speaking with reporters. Let's bring you back to that hearing with now former FBI Director James Comey. We were showing you earlier. A reminder, in about 45 minutes, we'll open up our phone lines here on C-SPAN, and we will get your reaction. So that's 8 o'clock Eastern time.